The year 2026 marks a historic turning point for the Republic of Korea Air Force and the global aerospace industry. After more than two decades of development, the KAI KF-21 Boromay Hunting Hawk is officially transitioning from a prototype flight test campaign to frontline operational service. The delivery of the first production units this year signals South Korea's entry into an elite club of nations capable of designing and mass-producing advanced supersonic fighter jets. The 2026 milestone, from testbed to frontline, following the commencement of serial production in July 2024, Korea Aerospace Industries KAI tracked to deliver the first batch of Block 1 aircraft to the Republic of Korea Air Force starting in March 2026. These initial fighters are part of a 40-unit order designed to replace the aging F-4 Phantom II and F-5 Tiger II fleets. The 2026 deliveries will allow the Republic of Korea Air Force to begin pilot conversion and establish initial operating squadrons. Final assembly of the first production standard aircraft was completed in late 2025, with rigorous acceptance testing currently underway to ensure the Hunting Hawk meets its Mark 1 eight performance benchmarks. The KF-21 is classified as a four or five generation fighter, bridging the gap between legacy platforms and fifth generation stealth jets like the F-35. While Block 1 utilizes external hardpoints for its weapons, including the Meteor Beyond Visual Range missile, the airframe features advanced stealth-influenced shaping to minimize its radar cross-section. Strategic and economic impact. Beyond domestic defense, 2026 is the year the KF-21 becomes a serious contender on the export market. With an estimated unit cost between $80 million and $90 million, the Boromai offers a high-tech, lower-cost alternative to Western fifth-generation platforms. The Philippines has already requested deliveries starting as early as 2027, and other nations are closely monitoring the Republic of Korea Air Force's initial deployment. For South Korea, the KF-21 represents more than just a plane. It is a symbol of technological sovereignty. By achieving a 65% localization rate for components, Seoul has ensured it can maintain and upgrade its fleet without total reliance on foreign supply chains. As the first squadron takes flight this year, the Boromai stands as a testament to South Korea's rise as a global defense powerhouse. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up or subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you next time.